Hi guys, uh, welcome to this session of uh, Prima Vera training. In this video, I will explain how to define and assign resources and a simple resource uh, leveling approach. As you can see, I'm in the activities uh, view of uh, Prima Vera. It is important to go to resource view by clicking on this icon uh, on the left uh, hand side menu. If you do so, this uh, new window opens and on the right side we have this plus sign and we can add resources you might see this information dialog box and it asks if you want to change the display to show all resources we are okay with that and as you can see i already have a number of resources in my uh, view so engineering and construction uh, product development it and others so let's uh, add uh, a new resource to engineering and construction i can uh, name this uh, resource uh, offsite uh, uh, labor one so Uh, off-site uh, laborer one and resource ID can be short form of that one so it is labor one and uh, we can go to next and it is a labor type of resource so we are happy with that one and uh, now our resource is in here if you have more than one uh, off-site laborer for example you can select this resource there is an option for copy in the right hand side menu and then you can paste as you can see uh, it asks what type of uh, information you want to copy and we are happy to copy all so it um, creates the new resource for us uh, as you can see the level is now change with the arrows we have in the right hand side menu i can push back to the right level and also in the general tab we can change the name if uh, we want there are different options as you can see it should be an active resource so this box should be checked always in details we can see it is a labor type and we can change the currency uh, to uh, whatever you want another option we have is to change the calendar and remember we created a calendar for this project so we can choose that one in units and prices uh, by default uh, we have eight hours per day uh, for this uh, resource which is okay roles uh, and the uh, notes for this uh, resource are in here let's uh, add another uh, resource and um, we can name this one uh, for example uh, welder and uh, the ID is short form so it's a labor type finish and it's not there again we can go to check if it is an active resource and also change the calendar to uh, our uh, desired calendar and uh, other changes if we want to make and maybe one more resource and uh, we can add uh, uh, for example a plumber and resource ID for this one is also defined so I can go to different tabs and change uh, whatever I want so in units and prices you can change the standard rate for example for this one let's pay this plumber uh, 45 dollars per hour and uh, that's done 
for the weller also we can change uh, the hourly rate to fifty dollars for example and uh, for laborers we can change them the hourly rate to thirty two dollars So now we have all the information we want. Uh, you can uh, define more and more resources uh, depending on your project. The next step is to assign these resources. You can go to activities tab and select one of uh, the activities you want and then uh, assign resources. We do this by going to resource tab in the detail part of the screen and add resource is uh, down the bottom for example for this uh, framing activity because it is in the module construction in the factory we want to use welder as the primary resource and also we have a laborer for this purpose as well as you can see all the information is in here there is a checkbox here so you can define the primary resource and in our case this is the welder because uh, down the track of uh, project they can enter um, uh, progress uh, rates and also other information so they have the authority to do so so that's uh, assigning resources um, and uh, now we can uh, go to uh, the top menu and we have uh, activity or resource usage uh, profile so if we click on this one uh, the screen changes and you can see different uh, uh, resources and their uh, usage you can zoom in and zoom out to see a better view of your uh, resource usage if there is a red bar it shows that we have over allocation and we need to change uh, the level of uh, uh, available resources if you want to exit this uh, view and uh, go back uh, to the same uh, activity detail we had you can go to view and in here show on bottom and you can click on details so again we have the same layout uh, as before thank you very much for watching this uh, in the next uh, video i will explain how to uh, define activity networks Thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube uh, channel for updated videos on engineering and project management. Thank you.